family adventure, that's right. When the sun starts setting, you better be a betting. We'll be headed to the old fish fry. Well, a frogging and a strutting and a ducking and a bucking. A family adventure, that's right. TP Outdoors, yeah. Pay it forward, y'all. TP Outdoors Adventure. Brought to you by TP Outdoors in Monroe, 3B Outdoor Equipment, and these fine sponsors. Closed captioning provided by Brad Bell at American National Insurance. Give Brad a call for all your homeowner, life, and auto insurance needs. Today's the day. This week on TP Outdoors Adventures, Bill has joined up with Jeff Mercer from Mercer Whitetails for a special Pay It Forward adventure. Bill has invited Dylan Brown and Jeff has invited Josh Butler. Both Josh and Dylan are legally blind and neither have been hunting since losing their eyesight. Dylan lost his sight after a duck hunting accident 10 years ago after being accidentally shot by a fellow hunter. Josh lost his sight after a horrific home invasion just three years ago. After watching this week's show, you'll see that both of these men have a strong faith in God and a great attitude about what life has dealt them. After arriving at Mercer Whitetails, it's time to test out the all-new gear that Bill has prepared for today's hunt. Dylan will be using a CVA Scout single-shot rifle in 450 Bushmaster with an Omega-3 digital scope. The scope allows someone to be able to see the crosshairs while Dylan is shouldering the rifle and help him aim. Dylan has regained a very small amount of sight in his right eye, and he explains it as, it's like I'm looking through a very small straw, and it's hard to focus on stuff. Before heading out to the blind, Dylan gives the rifle a test run with the help of a friend and physical therapist, Don Honecker. In the circle, just still an inch out. That's about what you want. That's this. Yeah, I ain't looking like that. This was the first shot, second shot, we moved a little bit. And there's the third shot right there. So he's dead on, right in line. It's about an inch high, well, 25, 30 yards. So if the deer was farther, it'd drop right in there at 75 or 80 yards. We're trying to go shoot that far, but perfect shooting. We're good, Jeff. After three shots and some minor adjustments, everyone is comfortable with the rifle setup, and Dylan is ready to head out to the stand. Next. Josh takes his turn testing the rifle scope setup. I hope those last shots hit almost in the same hole, but uh, I feel like they're right there. We're aiming right there. So we're about two inches low, but I'm just gonna hold the gun up. You know, like, we're gonna aim mid-body. Dylan is going to be hunting with Don and videographer Chris Porter, while Josh is going to be hunting with Jeff Mercer and Bill. After getting Dylan set up, Bill and Jeff head out with Josh for the afternoon hunt.
special. I know, that's some, that's some good halos for sure. Not long after getting set up, the first deer is headed their way. Dylan uses the button head to practice aiming the rifle. He figures out how to focus on the screen and take aim on the deer. Now if a big buck will just play along, this is gonna get fun. More deer begin to arrive, and the excitement grows. Finally, a nice buck is headed their way. Walkers takes their razor muff to the next level with the all-new digital series featuring improved reaction time and enhanced sound quality. The Razor Pro digital muffs utilize advanced digital circuitry to provide enhanced clarity of desirable ambient sounds. While offering improved suppression of undesirable background noise, the Razor Pro's ergonomic design minimizes interference when shouldering long guns. An easy-to-operate control knob and auto shutoff function delivers long life if the shooter forgets to turn off the unit. A high-gain omnidirectional microphone provides 360-degree sound pickup to eliminate audio blind spots. The Razer Pro is also compatible with the all-new Razer Walkie Talkie attachment, giving you 22 channels and 99 sub-channels. The Razer Pro Digital Muff and Walkie Talkie from Walkers. Protect it or lose it. I'm Robert Lane, and I'm a 3B Outdoor customer. We purchased our mower about two years ago. Matt and his team helped me uh, and my wife pick out the mower that we needed. It suited us. We went with one of the smaller hustlers, and it's been a perfect fit for us. When it comes to the service, he will come to your house and pick your mower up, and once it's finished being serviced, he'll deliver it back to you, which has really been a huge help for us. At 3B Outdoor, you can trust Matt Bridges and his team. If you need him, he is going to be there and keep your mower in shape and ready to run. Hey guys, this is Eric, owner of B&E Wholesale at 100 Trenton Street, downtown historic West Monroe, up against the railroad tracks. I wholesale to the public, name brand products at wholesale prices. I have a bargain every day. You never know what I'm gonna get in. Got a truck come every week. Uh, anything from disinfectant to bed and bath to tools. Y'all come and see me. Like I said, I wholesale to the public, 100 Trenton Street. Thank y'all. <laughs> Bill Peters here with Tim Maney. He's a resident gunsmith here at TP Outdoors Monroe. Tim, man, hunting season's coming up and people need to get their gun ready for the field, don't they? 
That's right, yeah, don't wait till hunting season gets here. Uh, bring it in, we'll make sure all the safeties are working, shooting accurately, everything's functioning the way it should. It's nothing worse than going on a hunt, you plan this hunt, you get the animals coming, and you get out there and your gun malfunctions. So bring it by TP Outdoors, let's check it out, we'll have you ready for hunting season. No matter your style, no matter your preference, it's your right to let freedom reign. Protect it or lose it. tired of dealing with inferior targets that just won't stay put? Try out the new stickable self-adhesive targets from Birchwood Casey. They'll stick to any surface, so no more forgetting your staple gun or running out of staples with these targets. Available in the shooting section at TP Outdoors Monroe. So now Chris is telling us they've got an eight point down there in front of them. Jeff just sent a text and told them to shoot it. Can you Jeff, send it to your phone? Do you have him? I'm going to put it on. Let me just hold it up front of the screen. So Jeff's got a covert camera down there. So. You got it. There he is. I said there's in front of Chris and Jot. I mean, uh, Dylan and them down there. So hopefully Dylan's fixing to shoot that one. We're still waiting to see our first deer. Just said shoot him. Okay, so he's good to shoot. Um, but we gotta wait till he turns, okay? After receiving a text from Jeff with the go-ahead to take the buck, Dylan and Don work together to take the shot. We don't wanna get the back leg of the other one. Yeah, don't shoot the nut. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Yeah, okay. He's 
You got him, Dylan. He is down. <laughs> Put him down. <laughs> yeah. Good job, buddy. Meat on table. Meat on table. <laughs> he went down right there. Oh, I didn't film it on the camera up here. In the excitement, I forgot we had to film it. You me. I think we well, got it on film. Don, buddy, after seeing Dylan take that buck, I guarantee you there is no way Bill is going to be upset about you forgetting to hit the record button. That's, big buck, <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. It's time to learn the proper way to set up and take down your five hub style blind. Simply set the blind on the ground with the hubs facing you. Take two rods out of the top hub, slide your hands up to the seat belts, pull it back towards you and get that wall panel squared up. Reach in and pop that hub straight up in the air. This is gonna be your rear wall. It's the one that's gonna roll behind you. Underneath, you have four hubs. Cross the left and the right. Gently scoop all of them while you roll the hub the engaged hub behind your head. Stand up with the center hub, keep your hand on it, and pop out the rest of the remaining walls. To tear the blind down, pop a wall in, a roof, a wall, and a wall. Do not pop that fifth hub. Reach in, take all the other hubs and force them to the ground, then you can disengage that last wall. This will save you a lot of binding and a lot of headaches. Check out all of our blinds and accessories at GoMuddy.com. My name is Midge Willis and I'm a satisfied 3B Outdoor customer. When we decided to get a zero turn, we wanted the best. And so we watched the landscapers and we figured out, okay, Xmark is the best. So the next thing was to find out which one had the best service department. 3B Outdoor has the best service department around. They've never let me down. So every year they come get my Xmark and it's like a day spa for the Xmark. And they come back with it all shiny and sparkly and I'm set for the year. Whether hunting or fishing is your passion, let your outdoor adventures lead you back to TP Outdoors. Our family has been serving North Louisiana since 1928. We've grown and expanded our store with experienced staff to help serve you better. Shop our wide selection of sporting goods at 3000 Briard Street in Monroe or shop online at tpoutdoors.com. Hey there, Brad Bill here with Hunter Specialties. This is our Buck Runner 2. Now the Buck Runner 2 comes complete with a new design reed system, which not only allows you to do a young buck or mature buck, but also allows you to do tending grunts. Um, also allows you to produce huge volumes of air to do a buck growl. But at the same time, it's probably one of the easiest calls on the market if you need to call really, really low, really, really soft on. Now it also comes with an extendable tube. Now when you extend the tube out, not only can you change the tone of the sound, but you can also manipulate the direction that you're calling in, which is pretty important in the whitetail woods. It comes complete with a lanyard. It's probably one of the most affordable, most realistic calls on the market today. I want to run through a few sounds for you. But check out the Buck Grunner too. Be safe and best of luck this fall. You're on it. Go to it, man. You're doing good, man. Look at that deer doing. He was wild. I would have 
thought a blind man could do this. <laughs> well, you ain't blind. I know. I'm just saying, a long time ago, I was told I was never going to be able to see again. And now? <laughs> Proving all those doctors wrong. That's right. <laughs> that a lot. Look at that, buddy. Look at that, buddy. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Great job. Nice deer, man. Yeah. That is all you, buddy. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Well, tell us just a little bit about your story. T tell us a little bit about what happened and, and what got you to this point. I was, uh... I was duck hunting. I was duck hunting uh, 10 years ago. I uh, accidentally got shot in the head and uh, spent a lot of time in, in the hospital. I spent three months in a medically induced coma trying to get my health back normal. And uh, just. Uh, you can put it down if you want. Okay. Yeah, I know it's getting heavy. Well, I wanted to keep a good grip on him but okay. uh, anyway anyways I spent a lot of time spent a lot of time doing physical therapy occupational therapy speech therapy occupational therapy <laughs> a lot of therapy trying to trying to get better, uh, better. and uh, I got to this point and said, hey, I want to go cure me, uh, give me some deer meat. <laughs> I guess I accomplished it. <laughs> you did. You did. That's awesome. Wow. Now, who you got hunting with here? I got Don. Don, uh, one of my biggest supporters and therapist that uh, helped set this up. He's just uh, been a, a great blessing to me, and he's just, uh, I think he said the same about me, being a blessing to him. So it's vice versa, and uh, I'm just thankful to have him in, in, in my life and now. just uh, helping me along the way. I told him this was one of my goals, and he helped me achieve it. Now, I heard Don say before that before you uh, walked out here, that one of your goals also was to be able to walk without a cane. Yeah. I don't know if y'all saw what I saw, but he walked out here without a cane. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And not only did he see a deer, not only did he shoot a deer, not only did he walk out here to it, he laid his hands on it because it dropped in his tracks. Right. <laughs> that is awesome, Dylan. That is awesome. Why don't you and, tell him the significance of your numbers? Oh, oh, my... That's a really good point. I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, what numbers are we talking about? My, my uh, numbers I grew up in high school with. Uh, all four years of high school playing baseball was my number. My number was 18. And uh, all four years of high school playing football, my number was 42. And uh, one day I got up, the just you know I was curious to know what the Bible talks about, uh, Jesus healing the blind man. So I asked, hey, uh, what's, the, what's the verse in the Bible that talks about Jesus healing the blind man? And they came back to me, said, I got, I got two, uh, two verses. He, they spouted out the first one and it didn't really register to me, but the second one just popped, just smacked me right in the face, said, that's it. That's my verse, and the verse was Luke chapter 18, verse 42. 18 was my baseball number, all four years of high school. 42 was my football number, all four years of high school. And in the Bible, Luke chapter 18, verse 42, it says, and Jesus said unto him, receive your sight. Your faith has made you whole. Look at that. Ain't God good? Yeah, all the time. And this is proof. This is proof. Mm. Good. 
I talk a lot and, and firmly believe in, in God's sovereignty. Yeah. And God's will is perfect. And uh, God doesn't have a plan B, C, and D. He's got plan A. Right. And he's had it since the foundation of the earth. Since day one, he's had the same plan. There's not a thing that I can do, you can do, or you can do to screw up that God doesn't already know. He doesn't already have a plan for it. And all things work for the good of those who love the Lord and are called in according to his purpose. So even though we go through trials, yeah. thankfully I have never been shot. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully. But we all go through trials in life. All of us. All yeah. of us. No matter what, we all go through trials in life. But God is faithful and he is good and he has promised. And he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for us. Absolutely. And I'm so thankful for that. That is awesome. Yeah. Man, I appreciate your testimony. I appreciate your story. And uh, I'm glad to get to share a hunt with you. Yeah, me too. I'm <laughs> stoked. This is... Uh, this, is based, th this is definitely the highlight of now from now on. I mean, I, there's nothing that can top this from now on. You did great, man. Um, I'm going to give you a knife, skin him up, you know, we'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you. <laughs> a good one that was <laughs> so proud of you man great shot boss buck has came out with some new attractants this year that we're using they have the boss sauce boss block boss booster and more so the boss sauce comes in a one gallon mineral attractant jug they have apple flavor and my favorite, acorn. The Boss Block is a four pound long lasting mineral attractant, comes in apple and acorn flavor. The Boss Booster comes in a seven pound bag and it instantly creates an irresistible long lasting mineral site that deer will visit frequently and all year long. And man, does it draw in some big bucks. So we're gonna be using this all fall deer and hunting season. Go out and try some Boss Sauce, Boss Block and Boss Booster and bring in some big bucks. You won't regret it. Check out more of the Boss Buck attractants at bossbuck.com. Boss Buck, now you're getting serious. The TP Outdoors Adventures Pro Staff will be using Buckbusters Fall Seed Mixes this year to draw in the monster bucks. These mixes not only draw in the deer, but continues to grow next spring and summer to keep your deer close and provide needed nutrition for antler growth next season. And the turkeys, they'll love it too. Check it out, Buckbuster Seed Mixes at TP Outdoors. I'm Robert Lane, and I'm a 3B Outdoor customer. We purchased our mower about two years ago. Matt and his team helped me uh, and my wife pick out the mower that we needed. It suited us. We went with one of the smaller hustlers and it's been a perfect fit for us. When it comes to the service, he will come to your house and pick your mower up. And once it's finished being serviced, he'll deliver it back to you, which has really been a huge help for us. At 3B Outdoor, you can trust Matt Bridges and his team. If you need him, he is gonna be there and keep your mower in shape and ready to run. Hey everybody, this is Keith Bean with GSM and Cyclops Lights. Today I want to talk to you about this little gem right here. This is the HL500, a super bright headlamp, 500 lumens. We're talking looking across a small pond with a headlamp. Yes, you can dim it down like I showed you. You can dim it down to 130 lumens. You can take it down to 42, whatever you need to fit your situation. The other thing that this comes with is an onboard red lamp. Perfect for hunting, perfect for slipping through the woods without being detected by critters. In addition to that, the HL500 has one of the brightest strobe lights you've ever seen. Perfect for indicating an emergency situation or maybe just throwing it on your bike helmet and riding at night safely. This is the HL500 from Cyclops. Check out all of our lights on CyclopsSolutions.com.
favorite, you know, my ideal patient would be somebody that comes in, wants to get better, and pushes himself every single day, and that's Dylan. And so whenever he said your ideal patient, I was like, well, it has nothing to do with his condition, but Dylan. Dylan's I, the ideal patient because he comes in and works hard every day. I get every mad if I don't summer. leave there dripping sweat. Mm -hmm. Dripping sweat. <laughs> yep. and I've had to have him and, and a lot of other therapists tell me, uh, like, Dylan, just because you don't leave here sweating, you know, doesn't mean you didn't work hard. Mm -hmm. And you've had to tell me that multiple times, but I keep working. <laughs> hey, I keep working. He uh, never says no. He, he's willing to try anything, works hard, and, and just knocks out his goals one after the other. And it's all due to him. You know? We point a direction, but you know, we can't walk it for you. And he, he doesn't, he's not afraid to do that part for sure. This is proof. This is your, one of your goals. This yeah. is proof. Yeah. You keep on working and things gonna keep happening. This is one of my goals. I just want to thank Bill Petrus and Jeff Mercer for this deer. I told them this goal that I wanted to give me another another deer and they made it happen. So uh, I'm thankful for them and I appreciate their generosity and making it happen. Go buy some stuff. <laughs> Shop TP Outdoors. Shop TP Outdoors. In Monroe. In Monroe. <laughs> Hey guys, that was an awesome afternoon hunting. We sure appreciate y'all coming out here and doing this with us. But uh, come in, had a great steak. Jeff O'Gary, Jilly, he cooked it up again, didn't he? He cooked it up. Sheriff from Richland Parish, he's doing a good job. Anytime we have a hunt like this, he always comes out and, and cooks a meal for everybody. But we had an awesome hunt. We were 50%, but we're going to do it again. Oh, Josh, you going to come back and do it again with us? Oh, most definitely. All right. Well, you know, we saw a lot of deer this afternoon. We never told Josh about it, but we were seeing all the deer. <laughs> we really don't want to kill one. We wouldn't come back again. We just like him that much. We want to spend more time with him. So next time we might let you kill a deer. How about that? Well, I, I bet you will. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time. Jeff, again, buddy, thank you for having everybody out. Jeff Mercer, Mercer Whitetails. They, he hosts these hunts and lets these guys come out, and it's always a good time. So we appreciate you, Jeff. Um, I, I like it more than they do. Hi right, guys, well that's it for this week's TP Outdoors Adventures. Uh, hopefully next week we'll have a, a show with old Josh killing him one. So y'all stay tuned next week for another TP Outdoor Adventures. A special thanks to Don Honaker for going beyond what is normal and expected in his job and introducing us to Dylan and assisting us on today's hunt. Being able to hunt with Dylan and listening to his testimony will surely change all of our lives. Josh was unable to take a deer on this hunt but he will return in hopes of taking a nice buck. We'll see you next time on TP Outdoors Adventures. Thanks for watching TP Outdoors Adventures, brought to you by TP Outdoors Monroe and by 3B Outdoor Equipment. purchased our mower about two years ago. Matt and his team helped me uh, and my wife pick out the mower that we needed. It suited us. We went with one of the smaller hustlers and it's been a perfect fit for us. When it comes to the service, he will come to your house and pick your mower up and once it's finished being serviced, he'll deliver it back to you, which has really been a huge help for us. At 3B Outdoor, you can trust Matt Bridges and his team. If you need him, he is gonna be there and keep your mower in shape and ready to run. Hey there, all my stick and string buddies. Buck Nasty here again. Want to talk about hunting acronyms? No, not hunting acronyms. Hunting acronyms. Seems you have more of those than you can count. You have EHD and FPS and RMEF and NWTF and DOB. N not date of birth, dipstick, ducker bleed. Well, let me point something out to you, Mr. QDMA. -er. We have QDDA, and it's been around since caveman started walking upright. So, what is QDDA? It's Quick Duck and Deer Academy. 
Yep, me and my brother have been ducking under your arrows since you were old enough to stretch snakes in you. Now I'll say one thing. A lot of my relatives have bought the big bedding area in the sky, not paying attention to your new camo hiding shelters. You better hold low, Mr. Shaky Hands. By the time that stick gets here, I will be kicking you or ask me why I pinned your head down. <laughs> Cause I can. Buck Nasty, out. Whether hunting or fishing is your passion, let your outdoor adventures lead you back to TP Outdoors. Our family has been serving North Louisiana since 1928. We've grown and expanded our store with experienced staff to help serve you better. Shop our wide selection of sporting goods at 3000 Briard Street in Monroe or shop online at tpoutdoors.com. I'm John with Smith & Wesson, and a lot of dealers and consumers have been calling in and asking us, when are we going to do a 10 millimeter in the M&P series? In front of me, I've got the Smith & Wesson M&P M2.0 in 10 millimeter auto. Uh, we have four major configurations for this gun right now. We have a four inch model available with and without thumb safety, and a 4.6 inch barrel model with and without thumb safety. A lot of the same features that you see on our 2.0 series have been integrated into these guns. We've added a couple new things as well uh, to appeal to both the shooter and the hunter that may be carrying this as a backup in the field. So to start off, we do have the uh, stainless barrel and slide that's known on the M&P series with the Armor Knight finish. Uh, we do have an extended stainless steel chassis inside the polymer frame to give you some added durability and consistency on the racking of slide between shots. These guns both do come with an optic cut on the slide. So if you're looking for a red dot sight mount and being able to co-witness, uh, we, we do have that ability on this gun as well. Uh, magazine capacity on both of these is 15 plus one in the chamber, so a total of 16 shots. We have added a flat-faced trigger onto these to give you a more consistent contact point uh, from shot to shot as you go to come into your trigger and fire. It does have the 18 degree grip angle that is found on our other 2.0 uh, series pistols along with the uh, enhanced texture of the grip area and four interchangeable palm swell inserts. These guns are shipping today. For any further information, check out our website.